Let's look at 10 easy keyboard shortcuts to boost your productivity in Microsoft OneNote. The first is to check spelling. All we have to do is hit the F7 function key. And here OneNote will flag those words that are not in the dictionary. Now some of these may be correct. These are words that we could add to the dictionary, or we could ignore them if it's not something that we'll frequently run across. In this case, this is a misspelling, and we have the correct word right here, so I'll simply pick that. Once again, this is something that I could add to the dictionary, but I'll simply ignore it. And move through your document to be able to make these corrections. In this case, this is also correct, and and so I'll go ahead and add that to the dictionary if I'm working with this topic frequently, which is chocolate, so I think I want to. And we'll continue. Once again, I could ignore it, especially if it's someone's name, and we continue. And we can see that this is also misspelled just slightly, so here I'll go ahead and make that correction until you're done. The next one is to add a new page. This is probably the most common thing that we would do in OneNote. Control N is a great way to add a new page at the end of the current section. And I'll rename this OneNote Practice. Let's try other shortcuts for the current date and time. If I just want the date, that is Alt Shift D. What about the time? Alt Shift T for time, that makes sense. Now these are not dynamic, so it's not a code or a link. It is simply capturing it at that time, which can be a great way for you to add notes, let's say for a meeting or for other time-related entries. And if I want both the date and the time, Alt Shift F. And there we go. What about a hyperlink? This could be to a document, to a website. It could even be to another page in the notebook or even to another notebook. For this one, we'll use Control K. So I'll first add the text that I want to display. In this case, it's not a OneNote location. It is actually to a web address, but I also could specify a particular document. And this is the location where I have a free download of other OneNote keyboard shortcuts. We'll simply OK. Now let's go a little bit further with adding pages. Before, that was Control N. That just is a new page. And of course, I have this option here that where I could add a page as well with a keyboard shortcut, Control N. Well, what if I want to add a new page under the current page with the same level of indentation? That is, this is considered to be a sub page. You can see that hierarchy there. This will be Control Alt N. Control Alt N. And you can see how it is in the hierarchy under history and fun facts. I could also add a new subpage under the current page. So that means I could even go further. These are called sub sub pages. And for that is Control Alt Shift N. So notice this hierarchy that's available to us in OneNote. Whether we create it with keyboard shortcuts, or simply take the pages and drag them left or right. That becomes another option. If you'd like to send some pages via email, we can first select those. So I'll pick these two, chocolate types, hold control or shift, depending upon if they're right next to each other. So here, chocolate chips, I'm holding control. Those are both selected. Next, press control shift E. That sends the selected pages to an email message. And here I can send this content so that I don't have to share the entire notebook. I'm simply sharing the current content so there's no link back to those pages. And finally, another handy keyboard shortcut. And this has to do with working with to-do tabs. So here I have meeting notes. To learn more about meeting notes, click the link above or look for the link in the description below. So I have a to-do item, it's a to-do tag, and we can create these a number of ways, but you can see here to-do tag in my ribbon. And the keyboard shortcut that can be handy for these is Control-1. So it will toggle back and forth, that is Control-1, because this was already a to-do item, it will mark it as completed. Control-1 again, it's going to take off that tag. If I did not have a tag on it, Control-1, will add the tag. So this can be another keyboard shortcut without having to go to your mouse. Try these handy shortcuts to save time in OneNote.
These are just a sampling of the time-saving Microsoft OneNote tips and shortcuts that are available. To learn more ways to be productive with OneNote or to download my free keyboard shortcuts handout, visit thesoftwarepro.com slash OneNote. If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to this channel for other time-saving software tips. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.